We are beginning the first week of Advent, a week of building up the Christmas spirit in us by focusing on hope, by knowing that in God we have much to hope for. In December, we're going to be involved in giving and receiving gifts. But still in November, on this first week of Advent, we begin to accept the gift spiritually in our own consciousness of hope. We are going to realize that we can have a hopeful nature for ourselves and for our loved ones, for everything that is part of our lives. We are aware that we have been given the greatest gift of all, the Christ Spirit. And let us always hold in mind and heart, for God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, that whosoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. Well, eternal life doesn't begin after death. Eternal life begins right now to be totally alive in the moment. And to be totally alive in the moment, we have to live our life not in fear, not in apprehension, but in absolute hope. If we truly know that God is with us, if we truly know that we're not alone, we have real reason to be hopeful. Let us apply the teachings of Jesus Christ in our lives remembering his words, my teaching is not mine, but his who sent me. And let us receive each day and all that it contains as a precious gift of God. Every day will be one of receiving from God, of giving thanks to God, of celebrating our own God awareness and sharing it with others. This is a week of building hope. This is a week of remembering who we are and what we're connected with. This is a week of allowing the Advent to come in and through us. And by our very presence, our hopeful presence, and our hopeful nature, we spread that message of Christ to others by our very being. In Jesus Christ's name, I pray that your life is filled with hope.